Hi, welcome to What to Buy, the show that tells you what to buy when you want to buy. Each episode will be covering a different component to tell you what you need to know when building a PC. Today, we'll be covering motherboards and power supply units. The motherboard, or MOBO for short, is where all your components are attached to. It is essentially the middleman for everything in your computer. It has many lines, called buses, for your components to speak to one another and get things done. So what do you need to know when buying a motherboard? First of all, is the processor socket. You will have to match the type of socket to your processor. If you do not, your processor will not fit. In this case, you are better off watching our episode on processors to find out more. Secondly, are the expansion slots. This matters when you are installing graphics cards. Most modern cards will use the PCIe 3.0 slot, although this may change over time. Most motherboards generally include anywhere from 2 to 4 slots. If you plan to use more than 2 graphics cards, you might want to look into extra slots. Next are memory slots. This will be where you install your RAM. Ideally, the frequency of the RAM should match that supported by the motherboard, although this is not really a concern for the average user. You should also look into the number of external ports contained by your motherboard. Normally, these will be the number of USB ports due to the fact that almost everything runs off USB these days. You will also want to perhaps check on the number of other input and outputs available. Finally, you may also want to consider Crossfire X and SLI support. This is in the event that you choose to install multiple graphics cards. Our episode on graphics cards will cover this nicely. The power supply unit, or PSU, is one of the most important parts of your PC and is often the most overlooked. It's easy to forget to budget for a power supply, so keep in mind that your components still need electricity to work. Choosing a power supply requires a complex calculation of power needs spread across the entire system. Fortunately for you, there are a couple of websites that do all the work. Just follow the links in the description once you have your choice of components listed out. The only thing you will need to be careful with is the type of connectors the PSU uses to power the motherboard. There are two types of connectors, the 20-pin and the 24-pin. Most power supplies will ship with a connector that will double as both. However, this is not always the case, and it won't hurt to double check. Well, that's it for motherboards and PSUs. This is the last episode for What to Buy Season 1, so if you enjoyed the show and want to see more, please let us know in the comments below. And if you didn't enjoy the show, let us know anyway, so that way you won't have to listen to me talk for hours. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>